Hi guys, my name is Phoebe. And I am Francesca. What if I told you that brainstorming is overrated? Boggles your mind why I said that? Well, relax as I take you through this very popular business practice and give you ways to re-engineer this process to meet current business trends and needs. Brainstorming is an old and very overused technique used by most organizations today. Brainstorming is a group method used to generate ideas to find solutions to basic business problems. There are four basic things you do when brainstorming. Be sure to generate as many wild ideas as possible. Prioritize uncommon, original and fresh ideas. Avoid criticisms and always defer judgments. And then you combine and fine tune all generated ideas. A lot of people today use the term creative thinking process to mean brainstorming, as in racking your brain to come up with the perfect solution to their problem. The brainstorming process actually works. Yes, you heard me right. It really does work. However, as an organization, if you want the most out of the process, you have to do two things. It is either you make amends to the old process or you change the entire process to suit your business needs. Let's imagine this. You find yourself in a brainstorming session and you're told stuff like, think outside the box, don't limit yourself, and every idea is welcome. Clearly, these phrases lack a sense of direction and tangibility. Besides, most people cannot even function at their peak without a structure facing reality. When you give people a clear sense of direction, you are sure to a large extent to get what you want. Be engineer the process. If your presence as a leader is intimidating, you'd want to give your team as much space as possible to function and generate their ideas. Your presence as a leader might try and limit the flow of ideas coming in and make them think that their idea is silly or not what you need. You also want to define what ideas are acceptable and structure your questions in that fashion. Make sure to test the questions on yourself and see how many ideas you can generate. That way, presenting the same set of questions to your team is likely to give you much more results. Encourage team involvement and if possible, provide incentives that will get people to actively participate in brainstorming sessions. Don't limit yourself to one brainstorming session. Have multiple brainstorming sessions and once your ideas are sorted, you want to have another session to develop, grow and nurture those ideas into solid solutions. Phoebe, I hope you liked this video. Yes, I did. I mean, I was part of the video. Well, we hope you like this video too. Stay tuned for more insightful business content. Visit blueglobal.com for a full article on brainstorming. See you next time.